Hi guys i hope you are all doing well let's see today's question so today's question we are taking this up from the topic of differential equations and if i talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic the question tells us let y equals y1 of x and y equals y2 of x be the solution curves of the differential equation which is given to us as dy over dx equals to y plus 7. So that's a differential equation given to us here and it further says the initial conditions are y1 of 0 equals 0 and the other is y2 of 0 equals 1. It means we have been given at x equals to 0 y1 is equal to 0 and the second condition this says at x equals to 1 y2 equals 0. So we have been given this idea. Further it says that the curves y equals y1 of x and the other curve y equals y2 of x both of them intersect at the answer choices given to us is the first answer choice being at no points the second it says they intersect at two points the third they say intersects at infinite number of points so you will have infinite solutions and the last answer choice it says that they intersect at one point so we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for the question given to us so if i see that I have been given dy over dx is y plus 7. So if I try to use this idea first of all to solve my differential equation, I can write that as dy by dx minus y equals 7. So if I see here and compare this entire thing with my general form of equation, I have it as dy over dx plus py equals q. So from this comparison, I get p as minus 1 and q in this case becomes 7. Once I have P and Q with me, I just find out the integrating factor that is e raised to integral P dx. That basically gives me e raised to integral of minus 1 dx. And that becomes integral of minus 1 that is nothing but minus x. So you get my e raised to minus x as your integrating factor. Now once you have your integrating factor, you just find the solution of that differential equation as y into if is equal to integral of q into if into dx plus c. Now we have integrating factor given to us as e raised to minus x. Integral of q that is 7 if which is e raised to minus x dx plus c. So you get here 7 e raised to minus x. The integral for that is e raised to minus x divided by minus 1 plus c so from here i get that as y e raised to minus x equals minus 7 e raised to minus x plus c now once i have this entire thing that's my solution of the differential equation that was given to us we get that as y e raised to minus x equals minus 7 e raised to minus x plus c now once i have this what i will do is i'll divide throughout by e raised to x or if i multiply throughout by e raised to x or i divide throughout by e raised to minus x so my solution of the differential equation becomes y because this gets cancelled this also gets cancelled so you get minus 7 plus c over e raised to minus x so if i solve this further i get that as minus 7 plus c e raised to x so you have this entire solution of differential equation now let's just use the conditions that were given to us. It says at x equals to 0, y1 is equals to 0. So if I put at x equals 0, y1 equals 0. So from here, if I try to find the value of c that is a constant, I get that as 0 equals minus 7 plus c e raised to 0, which is 1. 
so from here i get c is equal to 7 so that's my constant value c that is 7 and if I put that here in my solution, it becomes y equals minus 7 plus 7 e raised to x. So you get y 7 e raised to x minus 1. So you get this solution of the differential equation that becomes your equation 1. Now if I use the other condition that is given to me, it says at x equals, that was given to us as at x equals 0, y2 is 1. So at x equals 0, we have been given y2 is 1, not the opposite. So at x equals to 0, y2 is given to us as 1. Now when y2 is given to us as 1, if I put that, instead of y, if I'm putting again 1 equals minus 7 plus c e raised to 0, which is again 1. So from here, you get c as 1 plus 7, which is 8. So you get the constants value now in this case as 8 and your solution becomes y equals to minus 7 plus 8 e raised to x. So you get y as 8 e raised to x minus 7. So this becomes your second part of the solution once you get the value of c. So you get the two equations here. This is your equation of for y2 and this is your equation for y1. Now once I have that, I have been asked to find the intersection points of both the curves y1 and y2. So I'll just equate both of the solutions for y1 and y2 which i've got for y1 we have that as 7 e raised to x minus 7 and for y2 we have that as 8 e raised to x minus 7 so if i solve this further minus 7 minus 7 on both sides gets cancelled you are just left with 7 e raised to x equals 8 e raised to x and that gives you 8 e raised to x minus 7 7 e raised to x and the other side here, nothing is there means 0. It becomes e raised to x equals 0. Now, if I take logarithm on both sides, I get x log e to the base e equals log 0 to the base e. Now, x log e to the base e, we know it as 1. So, x becomes log of 0. And log of 0, we know it is not defined. So, it's undefined. So, from here, since I don't get any value for x here, I understand that when I... I am finding the intersection points of the two curves y1 and y2 and I'm getting the answer for the value of x as undefined. That tells me that there are no intersection points for these two curves. So basically these two curves intersect at none of the points here and if I see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question given to us here. For this same question, we have another method also to solve the question and find the solution of differential equation. Then you can just again put the initial conditions and get the values of C1 and C2 and equate them as we did in the previous part. So let's first just understand the, how to find the solution of differential equation with the other method. So we have dy by dx equals y plus 7. So if I just use the method of separating the variables, I'll keep y on the left and x on the right. And once I separate the variables, I'll just integrate them. So now to integrate this, what I can do is I can just put y plus 7 as t. So if I put y plus 7 as t, dy becomes dt. So instead of dy, I just write that as dt. So integral of dt over t, it's nothing but log of t. And t, if I resubstitute, I can just write that as log of y plus 7. So you get this entire thing as log of y plus 7 is equal to integral of dx, which is x plus c. So you get this entire thing. Now, once you have this entire thing, you just write, you don't want this log to be here. So what I will do is I'll take that on the other side. So that gives you y plus 7 is equal to e raised to x plus c. Or I can write that further as e raised to x into e raised to c. So you get y plus 7 is equal to e raised to x into e raised to c. e raised to c is nothing but e raised to a constant term. That will always again be a constant. So I can just write that as c1, let's say. So y becomes minus 7 plus c1 e raised to x. And if you see this, y equals to minus 7 plus c1 e raised to x. This is the same solution which we got with the other method also. That was y equals to minus 7 plus c into e raised to x. 
where c is your constant term here also you got that same thing y is minus 7 plus c1 e raised to x so you can choose which method to follow if you're comfortable using separating the variables for this type of questions you can use that otherwise most of the questions you can just solve it using this idea of general form that is dy by dx plus by equals to q where you have your integrating factor as e raised to integral p dx and the solution of differential equation as y into if which is equal to integral of q into if into dx plus c so these are your two methods to solve the solutions and then just put your conditions find the values of y1 and y2 once i got the expressions for y1 and y2 i just equated them and got no points of intersection so that matches with option a so a becomes the correct answer here i hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions i'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on jwe mains so stay tuned for more videos to roll out also if you're enjoying this videos that we are doing every day please do like the videos as well and do support the channel also subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on jwe so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis thank you